Uh, so this video is on the cover uh, here and the cyclotome, this guy. Um, so definition, or so let's actually, let's, let's fix some notation. Uh, X bar is a, an elliptic curve. Uh, with origin uh, O, and then X is a punctured elliptic curve. So this is a punctured elliptic curve. Okay, and um, uh, pi of X uh, uh, so this is going to be pi 1 of X at some point. Uh, and then, uh, so this is the, the atoll. And then uh, delta of x is going to be the geometric pi 1. Let's say uh, f bar. Okay, so this is the geometric fundamental group. And then recall that we, there is an exact sequence between these. Uh, so we have this exact sequence. G, f. One like so, okay. So there's this is the the, the setup. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're 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 okay. The other thing to, to recall is that um, there's a natural for every group. There's a natural outer action. This thing gives rise to a natural outer action, which I explained in a, in a previous video uh, of uh, pi of x. So these are automorphisms modulo inner automorphisms. Okay, so um, yeah, so this is a, so in particular there's, there's a representation here. Okay, so let's consider the two-step the two-step null potent quotient Of pi of x. Okay, so uh, what do I mean by this? So we have a sequence that looks like this. I'm going to call this the two step null potent quotient. It goes to the abelianization. And before it, we have this dude here, delta of theta, uh, where, okay, we have the following. Uh, delta of theta so this is defined to be equal to uh, well this is going to be okay then we have this guy this is uh, defined to be equal to this guy modulo the second commutator, and this is, of course, the abelianization. Okay, and uh, okay, so this is uh, so we're considering this, and as an exact sequence of uh, G F modules, or let's say G F groups. Okay, so. Um, the lemma that I want to say is the lemma is that uh, so here so this dude is isomorphic to z hat one so this is a, a cyclotome Okay, and I want to give an isomorphism with this. Um, okay, so this is the lemma that I want to show. Uh, this is uh, an object of central importance, um, uh, and we'll see it later. So uh, the proof uses uh, the following, uh, that 
that the inertia group of the origin is isomorphic to z hat 1. We saw this before in the video on cusps. Uh, and then we, it also uses that uh, inertia uh, is uh, in the kernel of abelianization. Okay, and what this means is that um, every unramified cover, sorry, every uh, cover of a punctured elliptic curve, let's say every at all, cover of a punctured elliptic curve uh, is unramified. at uh, O. Okay, so this is O is, o is not a branch point of these covers. Uh, so that comes from the description of the fundamental group and we, we showed this in a previous video. Okay, so here's the proof. Okay, since every uh, abelian cover of a punctured elliptic curve uh, has uh, well is unramified okay and so what's another way of thinking of this um, if you're thinking about using thinking of like Galois covers of um, of proper things with ramification, it's the same thing to look at uh, unramified covers of uh, of the punctured curves and then extend it to uh, the the punctured thing. And I guess you can do this because uh, you can extend morphisms of it, it. So morphisms of curves really depend on the function field. Um, all right, so you can always extend to the compactification, and these two things are equivalent. Um, Okay, so since every abelian cover is puncture, of a punctured curve is unramified, we see that this dude here, so we, we're picking a, a point above, uh, in the universal cover above the origin, right, to specify the particular inertia group, right, and we'll see that this is in the kernel of this. Okay, so this guy is a subgroup of here, uh, and it's in the kernel of this from what we saw before. Uh, so now what we'll do is we, we, we now describe kernel uh, of the nilpotent abelian quotient. Here it is. Okay, so this dude here, um, it's isomorphic to the second wedge power of x n. Okay, so what does this mean? So if you think about this, this is really uh, the commutator. Okay, so that's, that's what I, I, I'm saying. Um, that's, that uses the description uh, here. Okay, so we're just using that this is the, the commutator of this part here. And then, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, and then this is uh, isomorphic to, uh, well, we use the description of, of, uh, of where is it? Of uh, this guy here. So we saw this before. So uh, th we were using that this guy, z hat 2. Okay. So this is uh, isomorphic to z hat 2. Okay. And so this is isomorphic to z hat. Okay. And this is all as abelian groups. So we're just doing this all as abelian groups. Okay. So as abelian groups, I'm just repeating what I said. This dude is isomorphic to this. Okay. Okay. So we observe the the the, the two-step nilpotent quotient is uh, the two-step uh, nilpotent quotient 
uh, sequence, let's say sequence, is, uh, is Galois equivariant. Um, and so the, the, and the inclusion uh, here, so into the kernel is, uh, is Galois equivariant. Okay, so um, so it's a Galois equivariant morphism. So it's a so the Galois equivariant uh, plus uh, isomorphism of abelian groups Well, this is the same thing as an isomorphism of Galois modules Okay, and that shows that, uh, so that, that, that concludes the, the isomorphism here. So this gives a description of uh, the kernel as this. So this proves, and we already proved in a, in a, previous, uh, in a previous video, that this was a cyclotome. Okay, so uh, yeah, so that's what we're using here. Okay, so uh, before proceeding, we, we need some lemmas. So I, I want to go on to describe to, to describe the cover. So to describe uh, some covers. Uh, so I want to describe uh, these two covers. So we'll take X, and I want to describe this cover here, and this cover here. Uh, these are both going to be Z mod L covers. Um, we need uh, some lemmas, first of all. So I want to describe them in terms of the, the, uh, their fundamental groups. So, okay, so, um, all right, so here's the lemma. Okay, so let delta... Uh, uh, Let's say one, the delta and pi be an inclusion of groups. Okay, um, then, uh, so we, we have that delta two, so gamma two of delta, which is this, uh, this uh, second term in the, the, the lower central series. Okay, this is a normal subgroup of pi. So, uh, and then the second thing that we have is that, so we know it's a normal subgroup of, of delta, but we were, so not x, but just in general. Okay, uh, so, but, we, but it's also a lower, lower subgroup of, uh, uh, sorry, a normal subgroup of pi. Okay, and the second thing that I wanna say is that for any group uh, pi, uh, the uh, map, Reduction mod pi, or reduction mod l, uh, for some integer, let's say a natural number, uh, makes sense. I.e., uh, we'll do this. So pi l. I'm going to define this to be equal to. Uh, the the span of c to the l for c and pi. Okay, this is a normal subgroup of pi. Okay, so this is the statement that I want to make. The two things that I want to make is that this thing, uh, the 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 second the second term in the lower central series of a subgroup of a normal subgroup is normal, and in, in the bigger group, and that uh, that reduction mod l makes sense. Okay, so proof. Uh, so the first thing, uh, so we you just check that uh, 
this t dude here, or what did I call it, gamma 2, uh, is closed uh, under conjugation. Okay, and uh, so we'll take uh, we'll take C A B to be in delta, uh, sorry delta, and we'll take G to be in pi. Okay, and what do you do? So we'll take G, and then we just write it out A B C here G inverse, and so you can check that this is equal to. Well, I'm going to write it like this. G A, uh, G B, uh, C G. Okay, uh, because uh, this map is a group homomorphism, and uh, this expression and commutators are definable. Uh, with group operations. Okay, uh, what do I want to do next? So I want to show next uh, two. Okay, so the proof of two is uh, also not bad. Uh, so uh, one just checks that the product of uh, powers is uh, so the so the, if you conjugate elf powers, that it's still going to remain. It's still going to be a, an elf power. So what you do is you just do g c to the l g, and so you can see that this is equal to, well, c to the g l. Okay, again, g of c, this is g c g inverse. Okay, so that's essentially the, the entire idea. Okay, so the, the, the reduction model makes sense. Okay, so um, now I can give a definition of the, the cover. So now I'm going to give a definition of Machizuki's uh, single underlying covers. Covers. So the single underlying covers. Okay, so we need to give the setup. So um, let A uh, be an abelian variety, uh, an elliptic curve. Uh, over K, over a number field, over a number field K. Okay, and so then we're going to let M uh, be a subgroup of uh, AK, L, the L torsion, um, which is cyclic. Okay, so this is, okay, and we're also supposing. Uh, maybe I should have said this before, but we suppose that uh, uh, K is such that uh, AK, K is such that uh, AK of L is isomorphic to Z mod L squared. So it has full L torsion. Okay, so these are the assumptions. Okay, we, we're just supposing this. Okay, so we, we fix this. Okay, by the way, these two things tell us that um, this pair uh, gives us a point in this modular curve. Okay, so that's what this means. Um, BTW. Uh, oh, zero, zero, zero. Okay. So these are elliptic curves with, with cyclic subgroups. Okay, so uh, definition. A uh, single underlying cover, a Machizuki single underlying cover, uh, of, uh, of, of uh, let's say, A, with respect to M uh, is the cover, let's call it FM, we'll do a single underline there, A underline, uh, let's do um, A underline M, 
which is defined to be equal to a mod m to a, uh, defined to be by, uh, so fm is equal to uh, the uh, dual, so the iso so let's say the quotient uh, dual. So it's the the transpose of this, okay? And so um, yeah, so this is the the single underlying cover. Okay, so we quotient by a, a certain group. And then we take the dual of it, so it goes backwards. And so this is using that all elliptic curves can be uh, canonically identified with their dual. Uh, that's that they're principally polarized. Okay. So um, okay. So let's let me make some an, a notational remark. Is that when the cyclic subgroup in question is understood, uh, M is understood. Uh, we will just write. Right, uh, you know, um, you know, a single underline. Okay, so um, in in the notation of our, our previous examples, so are we we uh, we will apply this to to the case when uh, a is x overline this compactification. Okay, so that's what we want to say. And now I I, I want to just state some properties of uh, these covers. Okay, so uh, so let's take one of these things. Uh, so this cover here uh, has the following properties. Has the following properties. Uh, one uh, that the inverse image of the the identity, so this is the identity point, uh, is defined over over uh, k. Okay. The second property that I want to say is that the Galois group uh, here of this map, so this is a, an isogeny, so this is isomorphic to Q, where this is equal to um, so there's a canonical identification with this, where this is the, the torsion group of the original variety mod M. And then the third thing that I want to say is that, um, okay, so that if I take this variety here, and then if I look at its L torsion, it's only going to be ZL. It's not going to have full L torsion over K. Okay, so these are the properties that I want to show. And actually, uh, Machizuki defines it actually in a more roundabout way um, using these the, the, the propositions that I said before. But I, think, I found that I think this is a slicker way and a more geometric way of, of talking about his covers rather than uh, defining them in terms of fundamental groups. Okay, so um, so let's let's do the proof. Okay, so first. Uh, what are we trying to show? We're trying to show that all of these are defined over k. So the, here's the idea. So we're for the first one, uh, we have this map here, uh, f uh, m. So I'm just going to do it f bar, and then we have transpose here, a underline to uh, f underline. And this was the cover here. Okay, and then this whole thing here is multiplication by l. Okay. Um, so we, we have this composition here. So okay, uh, and this is using the principal polarization. Okay, so we're identifying uh, the the elliptic curve with their dual. Okay, um, we also have that uh, L inverse of the identity here is just the torsion okay and so uh, what this does is it so it says that okay so now suppose that suppose that this dude here uh, is not defined
over k. Okay, so this would this this forces uh, forces um, the the torsion bar L uh, to not be defined over k. Okay, because these would be in a larger field here when we go up the first step, and then when we go up the second step, it'll be in a larger field. Okay, so this force is to be not defined over k, but we suppose that it was defined over k, which is a contradiction. Okay, so that, that proves the first one. Okay, um, so the second part property comes from Galois theory considerations. So, uh, so, so again, what we're trying to show is we're trying to show that there's a canonical identification, or there's a functorial identification between uh, the Galois group here and, and the quotient of, of the abelian variety, the torsion of the abelian variety. Okay, so, um, okay, so all the maps, maps in the diagram a star are Galois, and now I need a label star. So this is star here, this dude. Okay, since all these maps are the Galois, we, uh, uh, we, we get an extension of groups. An extension of groups, and I'm going to write down the extension of groups on the next page. So the extension of groups is as follows. So the big Galois group, so the Galois group here is an extension of this thing here. So, uh, so this whole thing, the Galois group of this is an extension of this Galois group. This is the one we're trying to compute, um, okay, by the Galois group of the transpose here. Underline transpose. Okay, um, and then we, okay, and, and by definition, uh, we have the following. We have that the middle one so this is uh, the torsion, k torsion here. And then the, the first one, we, we took a quotient. This was a quotient map. Okay, so this was equal to, uh, so again, I'm doing this thing where, okay. So this thing was equal to m, okay. And uh, hence we have the, the, the quotient that uh, g, Sorry, mod uh, g of f m t, and so this is equal to a l of k mod m, which is q, which is what we called q. Okay, so that's the that's the second part. Okay, so this is the continuing the proof of two. Uh, now we're going to prove three. So what was three again? So three. Uh, three was a statement about the the, the k the k points. Okay, so the k k torsion points of uh, of uh, the variety here. So, um, uh, okay, where where did I put that? Ah. Okay, well I can't find it, but uh, oh here. Okay, so the idea is to use the, the, the so, so okay, so what are we, again, what are we trying to show? We're trying to show uh, this one here, okay? So uh, let's, let's write it down. So uh, we want to write A mod M, okay, A mod M of K, and then we're going to take the L torsion, okay? So this is equal to, uh, well, A, let's do it like this. So this is a of k mod m of k modulo the l torsion. Okay, and so now uh, we we have to do something. So um, so by the Mordell Bay, 
Okay, we can write A of K is equal to um, a torsion part plus a free part. So maybe we'll write it as a free part, direct sum of torsion part. So this isn't the Tate module or anything. It's just another T, where T is equal to a direct sum over all the primes of TP. Uh, and then where TP is the, uh, the prime P power torsion, Okay, so it's, it's, we're just using the fundamental theorem of abelian groups. And then F is uh, equal to, or isomorphic to, uh, ZR for some R. So this is the rank. Okay, so then um, uh, we have that MK uh, is equal to T prime of L, and this is a subgroup of T of L. All right. Okay, and now we what we can do is we can just start to compute the quotient. Okay, so um, let's write out what this is. So um, we write out the quotient. Uh, A k mod M k. Okay, and this is equal to well, uh, we just have a direct sum of. So we have the torsion part. Then we have this direct sum of uh, the prime power torsion part where p is not equal to t. And then we have our free part. Okay, so our torsion part gets quotiented out a little bit. All right, now we can compute what uh, a k mod m k of l is. Okay, so this expression is just what we wrote down before. Uh, so this is, so the only thing that matters when we, when we have torsion, so is, is this part. So this goes away, this goes away. And then now we only need to consider this part and it's pre P power or so this is L power torsion. So we only need to consider L torsion. Okay. So this is actually uh, T L prime prime mod T L. Okay. And so this was uh, T prime prime. So this is equal to the L power torsion, or so the L, the L torsion, okay? Uh, sorry, this is T prime. And uh, so then we have this subgroup, and so uh, we can see that this is, uh, so this is a, the non-trivial subgroup here. This was, this is a M, right? So TL is actually M, all right? A TL prime. Okay, and so now this is isomorphic to Z mod L. So you can see that this is Z mod L. Okay, so uh, yeah, so this is, this is uh, that. All right, let me just show you what that was again that we did. So what did we do? We just uh, characterized, uh, uh, or we just showed some properties here. So um, Majizuki does it in a different way uh, in the Atal Theta paper. And this, this way will be clear later, if I think, for, for uh, looking at certain uh, uh, group actions. So uh, in our applications, uh, we fix some m, OK, x. Uh, x bar is equal to a, right? And then we take uh, uh, x bar u here to uh, uh, to so to x bar like this, and then this contains uh, the x underlined cover, and this contains x. Okay, and so this is f u, and then we can call this maybe f u bar. Okay, so uh, here this is. So this is the this is the, the the cover that we want to consider here, and what it says is that f inverse of the origin here. Uh, so this these were were k rational. So we have k rational cusps, okay. So uh, gives k rational cusps. 